Lisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for your continued support. I have a special video this Friday. This is another Diamond Art Club sneak peek I have to share with you guys. First off, I wanna say thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this sneak peek over for me to share with everybody. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and you're gonna be making your very first purchase, I do have a coupon code that you can use. It's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-1-5, and that will save you 15% off your very first order. No obligation to use that, of course. Um, there are discount codes everywhere. I'm gonna show you quite a few in this unboxing alone. Let's get into it. So we have our blue uh, branding here up at the top. So that tells us that we are going to be looking at a square diamond painting today. And this one is a big one. Without further ado, here we go. This is called Psychedelic Maine Coon Cat by Peggy Collins. It's 98 centimeters by 65 centimeter square diamond painting. This one's a big one, y'all. Now, you guys, I'm getting into this without even say, uh, talk, saying anything about the box. It's like y'all are my old friends now <laughs> around here. Diamond Art Club canvases come in this very nice sturdy box. On the front, we have our little sticker. On the back, we have some information on how to diamond paint if you're new. Some uh, description of what to expect inside the box. Of course, the usual disclaimers. And then on one end of the box, here's our first discount code of the video, or I guess it's the second one. Uh, unlock 10% off by scanning that QR code. Inside the box, we have three things. We have our diamond painting in this uh, plastic dust sleeve. We get a toolkit and we get a small sticker. This small sticker, a lot of people will use in their paper log books to keep track of their diamond paintings. I don't, I just use it for storage purposes. I either put it on the end of this box like that, if I'm storing the diamond painting back in the box on the shelf, or if I'm gonna just keep the diamond painting in the plastic sleeve, then I'll stick this right on the end there and have it sticking out so that when I do go to get a diamond painting, I can see which one I'm grabbing without making a mess. But it does have all the information on it. So we've got the name again, at the, I was gonna say the author, the artist and the size dimensions and it is already perforated or cut for us. So I will get you a better uh, look at the original artwork once we open up the diamond painting, but boy, there are so many beautiful colors in this kit. Now I don't have a Maine Coon cat. I have a rag doll. Some of you may have met her. Her name is Abby. She is just as fluffy as a Maine Coon cat though, uh, but I absolutely love the breed. Let's see what's in the tool kit. The usual suspects from a quick glance. So this toolkit comes in this uh, recyclable bag. We get our usual bag of baggies. That's helpful to store some leftover diamonds or if your containers don't hold a full bag of diamonds then you have somewhere to put your extras. Of course, we get our basic diamond painting tray. This little plastic piece is a stopper. It fits here. There is no right or wrong way. You just don't wanna force it. So. For this one, it's going either way, so it doesn't matter. What it does, it prevents diamonds from falling out when you're shaking your tray. We get a random roll of washi tape, and this one is a pretty floral. There's quite a few different uses for washi tape. I do have a video, I will link it down below. Uh, it also sits in the tips and tricks section of my YouTube channel playlist, along with some other helpful videos. We get our little caddy here with two plates of wax. This is wax that we fill our pens with to diamond paint. It's a softer wax and this will last you quite a long time. You probably won't need both for this kit. You'll, you'll have plenty leftovers. We get a matching pen and squishy. Now the color of your pen and squishy may vary from my kit. This thing is supposed to screw on here. I can't do it because of the nerve damage, but you pop it down and it's just there. It's just a little comfort grip when you're diamond painting. They also sand two multi-placers for your diamond painting. This one is a four and a seven. These are considered thin plastic placers if you hear people talk of that and wondering what that means. It means that the open is just thinner than the standard ones. 
If you do like these plastic multi-placers, you might like Diamond Art Club's new metal multi-placers. Uh, I have one in every size. I absolutely love how they work. So I do recommend upgrading to their steel tips. Uh, if you can, they're uh, a nice thing to add on to your order. If you're just ordering one diamond painting and you need to, you know, cross that shipping threshold, I just add in uh, a metal tip. That's how I collected mine. They are stainless steel, so they do last you a lifetime. Here is a cover minder. So a cover minder has two magnets. One is usually glued on. The other one is off. This little seashell will sit on top of the canvas. This free magnet goes underneath. It helps hold back that plastic cover when we're diamond painting, or I use them to secure the release papers if I'm not quite finished a section and the release paper's not sticking. Uh, these come in handy. Now, sometimes because of shipping, one magnet will come off. All you have to do is use a little dab of super glue and it's good as new. Um, I'm not quite sure when we will see it, but eventually Diamond Art Club is phasing out these little guys just because issues with the magnets. So I recommend you collecting them while you can. And then this is a square diamond painting. So we get our black branded tweezers. These guys are super, super sharp. Uh, they can pierce the skin. So please be careful with them. Always keep that little bit of plastic uh, when you're not using it. Anyways, the important stuff is inside this plastic bag. So we get a nice branded bag. This uh, usually is resealable. Yes, it is. Uh, I say that because it just depends how sticky the glue is. If it tears the plastic, it did a little bit there, but once I'm done filming the unboxings, I put this back in the plastic bag and I put it back in the box. Diamond Art Club canvases are really soft and velvety backing. They have the poked and scalloped edges. As you can see, that helps prevent fraying of the canvas. That being said, I've cut all of my Diamond Art Club uh, canvases down. I cut the border down by about half when I'm finished after I've painted it. Uh, canvas is never frayed in over two years. So the canvas material is super high quality. Wow, this thing is huge, you guys. Now I'm gonna roll this canvas back on itself just to make it lie a little bit flatter. So give me a minute here. And again, I forgot to <laughs> vacuum this corner of the bed. Nothing like a bit of cat hair on a cat diamond painting, right? I hope everyone is doing well. Let me know what you are working on currently in the comments of the video. Now I'm going to show you the sticker sheet. And let's do this first, actually. This is the little brochure that comes in every single box. Helpful tips in here if you are new. So first we have a, a thank you message from the founder of the company. We have kit contents in three different languages. We've got our tips and tricks here. And here's another discount code. So this will save us another 10% off your purchase. Here we have a QR code. This is gonna take you to Diamond Art Club's step-by-step -step instructional video, uh, which is a great resource for new diamond painters. I also have my own video I put together for beginners. I also have a uh, tips and tricks uh, video for multi-placing and working with squares too, if you wanna check those out. Down here, we have the QR code that will take you to the VIP Facebook group. Now you can join this Facebook group once you've made your very first purchase. It's a business page for Diamond Art Club, or I should say a business group for Diamond Art Club uh, for customers. So uh, once you've made your first purchase, join that group. It's a great resource for all things Diamond Art Club and diamond painting. Step-by-step -step instructions here in a few different languages. And the last thing on this paper that's important is the app. So if you do download the app and make a purchase through there, your first purchase, I should say, you'll get 20% off. Here is the big sticker sheet. So this is the image that I will actually cut out and use in my paper logbook. I like it because it's bigger and it shows a lot of the detail as well. Again, we have our name of the kit, Psychedelic Maine Coon Cat by Peggy Collins, a space to put your start and end date if you like tracking that kind of information. And again, it's reminding us it's a square and this size is 98 centimeters by 65 centimeters. And this kit has 60 colors. All of these labels are pre-cut, so you can just peel and stick onto your containers or baggies. They do send a few extras. You can save for any leftover diamonds or other uses. When we're looking at this number list at the top here, any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond and they have five, no, six. Six AB diamonds in this kit. We've got a 107, a 120, 124, 126, 129, a 135. Looking at the bottom here, there are no other special diamonds. This is where Diamond Art Club will put if there are other specialty diamonds 
aside from ABs, they will always be at the bottom of the list and they always have the DMC number with a letter in the front. I can't wait to see where they put all of the ABs in this kit. I absolutely love this image. It's absolutely beautiful. All of the detail and the lines in this. Wow, it's gorgeous. We are gonna take a look at the diamonds after we show the canvas. So I'm just gonna move my um, set up here a little bit. Just gonna push it back a little bit so we can get this canvas in. This canvas takes up uh, one quarter of my king size bed. It is huge. Wow, that's gorgeous. Now I'm probably not gonna be able to get her all in frame, but let's see how far we can zoom out. If I lift this up a little bit, we might be able to, oh, there we go, kind of. This is probably going to fall down a little bit. Don't mind this little tripod over here. Here we have the entire image in screen. Amazing. So I'm just going to move this a little bit. So up at the top here, we have their branding, Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle. We have a color list on the top left also the bottom right down here i will bring it closer in a minute it's exactly the same color list as we saw in our sticker sheet at the bottom here bottom left we have a thumbnail of the image and then all of the information again is on this uh, diamond painting canvas so the name of it uh, the model number is this little bit here in case there's any issues with the canvas we have our size again and copyright Peggy Collins and Diamond Art Club. That means that this diamond painting is legally licensed. That means that the artist not only gave permission to use this for diamond painting, but they're also being fairly compensated or paid. Licensing in the diamond painting community, actually the crafting community as a whole, is really important because unfortunately there's a lot of stolen art out there. So, um, you know that when you buy from Diamond Art Club, every time you're going to have a licensed piece and it goes to support all of our awesome artists. Down here, we have another discount code. Take another 10% off using that one. Here we have the links to the Facebook group and the, or I should say the business page on both Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow these two uh, groups if you have both apps because this is where Diamond Art Club will sneak peek the new images every week. The VIP group, they do get shared in there. And of course, we have Julia Catherine Collages who makes a wonderful collage every Friday afternoon once all of the sneak peeks have gone up. And they make a uh, collage that has all of the releases coming on Saturday with the estimated prices and such. But if you want early access, Diamond Art Club posts them, usually Monday to Friday morning, all of the releases, one or two a day, depending on what they're doing. Sometimes there's a Wednesday release too, so just follow their business uh, page. <laughs> lifetime warranty. So as long as you are the original purchaser, you have a lifetime warranty with Diamond Art Club. That covers anything, uh, any problems you may have with the canvas, the glue, or the diamonds. And then over here in blue is actually that support email. If you have any customer service questions, send them over to this email. Here is our little color list again here. So it goes from one down to 60. I love that they have legends on both sides of the canvas. I also will photocopy this paper. Actually, as soon as I'm done the unboxing, I photocopy it and slip it back inside the box. That way I can have a paper legend going at the same time because I find when I'm working on these huge canvases that uh, I, I would probably turn this one sideways and work on it because it would just fit on my table a little bit better. That being said, I, always, I often end up covering the legend on the canvas. So I just take a photocopy before I sit down. And if I forget, all I have to do is email support, ask them for the PDF copy of the color list for this diamond painting and they send it over usually within 30 seconds. This diamond painting is just so, so gorgeous. So we can, we see the whole image there. I don't think I'm gonna do a separate pan over, but what we are gonna do next is go over the diamonds and take a look at all of the colors. So you know, Diamond Art Club does label this package. If you are somebody who separates their diamonds from their canvases, then you can easily match them up again. I'm gonna fast forward through all of this crinkle. I am so excited to take a look at these colors. Look at how, how vibrant some of these are. I also see tons of 310 because there's tons of 310 in this kit. Uh, Diamond Art Club, they do not sort their diamonds in uh, numerical order. So they're sorted by weight. 
So I'm just going to go through them as I pick them up. I will let you know what the DMC is. I know sometimes it's hard to see uh, the number, the writing on the bag, because I do film right next to a window, but it's the best light I have. So we have one bag of 327 and two bags of 823. I'm also going to mention something. So this time of year, it's very, very common to have static in these packages, regardless of where you buy your diamonds from. The weather in the cold winter season just brings static to everything. You can kind of see some in this bag, how those diamonds are sticking. My go-to tips, I actually just made a video on this in my tips and tricks playlist section if you want a more in-depth conversation, but I dip a Q-tip in rubbing alcohol, dab it on a paper towel. I will cut the top off the bag. I will swirl the Q-tip in there a few times until I think the static is gone. Then I pour this into my little Ziploc baggie that has a couple cut up dryer sheets in it and I am good. Once I'm done kitting up, I try and leave the kit alone for a day and when I come back to it the next day, the static is gone, it's zero, it's eliminated. So that's my hack. I know um, there are a few other hacks for it out there, but that's my uh, go-to tried and true. It works every time for me. Now let's just, we're grabbing and going. So we've got 890. Two bags of 3854. And again, I'll just kind of try and quickly peek. So far, we have new diamonds. 3687. Two bags of 550. That purple is absolutely gorgeous. And this red, look at that. It's so, so, so vibrant. Those are also the new uh, diamonds. Two bags of 817. Six four six five nine seven two bags of four three three two bags of nine twenty one six forty seven our first AB is one thirty five so that's a green these ABs have a special coating on them you can tell when you look between these two bags of diamonds this is just a gray regular diamond there's nothing special about it this one has that special coating where depending on the way the light hits it, we're going to see all sorts of colors of the Northern Lights. The AB coating just makes it sparkle a little bit brighter and it really accents diamond paintings. And Diamond Art Club does a good job of up charting them in. We're going to take a look. We're, well, I should say we're going to try and take a look uh, to see where some of these ABs are. I have a feeling there's six of them and they're going to be charted everywhere because there is pops of color everywhere. We've got a bag of 3803. Our other AB is 129. We've got a bag of 208 and 745. Let me just situate these so I can remember where they are. 797, 598, 3811, 522, 645, 648, 995, 126, our purple AB, that's a really gorgeous one. Next to it is our blue AB, which is 120, just a little bit of both of those. And we've got bags of 407, 632, 3607, 996, 3608, 165, and a very little amount of this pink 124 AB. Again, let me just situate these so they're easy to find. Got a bag of 434 and 3853. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bags of 310. That's a lot of 310. They're super, super sparkly. And there are the 20 facet drills, so that's awesome. Now we have two bags of 436. We have a 738, sorry, two bags of 738, two bags of 938, and a pretty 718, two bags of 898, a beautiful 820, that's a beautiful blue, 739, two bags of 939, two bags of 435, beautiful green, 3818, 3808. We have two bags of 3857. We have a full bag here of AB107, which is a red. 702, 3810, 704, 498, 3809, 700, and 3855. So let's start off with this red AB since this is in my hand. So you can really see that AB coating on there, uh, sparkling all different colors there kind of like a disco ball. Uh, let's see where this one goes. 
107 is going to be number one. So as I said, I have a feeling that these ABs are just going to be sprinkled absolutely everywhere. I'm going to try to see if this, sometimes it comes down a little bit. Hopefully that stays. We have some down here. I can see some sprinkled in the red over here. I see some here. I see some here. I see a bunch here on the top of his nose. Some up in here to the eye. Basically, everywhere I'm seeing red, I am seeing some of this AB sprinkled in, even over here, 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 up at the top as well, through here, up here, even at the top and the corner there, over here too, there is some sprinkled in. We will do, let's do 124, which is this pink. There's actually not much, so uh, that's a number three. So where do I see that? I'm seeing a couple of them right in here, actually, and a couple up there. I am seeing some up here. On the canvas, it's kind of got a, uh, looks more like a white background. I'm not seeing any more jump out at me again. With a canvas that is like this, where it's basically a color explosion, it's a little bit harder to find all of the ABs because they're literally going to be sprinkled everywhere. We have this beautiful blue, which is 120. That's going to be number two. Okay, where should I start? Okay, here, this bright blue here, we're seeing some, some up in this element as well, where it's bright blue. I'm seeing some off to the side where it's bright blue again. Some through here as well. Some in here. Seeing some over here, where it's more of a brighter blue. And then up at the top here, there's some blue up here as well. And so we did that one. And then 126 is this pretty purple. It's probably my favorite color. 126 is number four. So I am seeing some in this eye, kind of off to the side where you see the purple, light purple or lilac. I'm seeing some up in here. I'm seeing some up in here. It's kind of behind this, but it's where there's purple over here as well, over here, down here. Again, everywhere you see that lilac color on the canvas, there's going to be a few of them at least sprinkled in. And then over here, we have a, a, a area of the purple again. And that's kind of all a little bit down here too. And we have two more to show you. So 129 is this pale yellow, and then 135 is this green. So the, oh, I already forgot the number. <laughs> 129, that's why I usually do one at a time. Number five. Let me find it. Once I find it, then I know what I'm looking for. 125. 129 is the pale yellow. It's a number five. Where's the yellow? Maybe it's down here? Yeah. So I see a bunch of it down here in this area. Kind of sprinkled in there. I see a bunch. Looks like this is probably his whiskers. So this big whisker here has a bunch of it. And then there's some in these little whiskers here. A little bit around the tips of these ones. Do I see any fives in here? No. Over here I do again, kind of at the base of the whiskers, we have some of it. And again, that's that pale yellow AB. That's all that's really jumping out at me. And then the other one is the green, which is 135, which is an X. Always throws me off when they do that. They do their numbers and they do a good job at matching, but sometimes like number six, will be a, a letter instead of number six. Throws me off sometimes. So I'm looking for an X. So I do see some over here. I'm kind of looking where everywhere I see green. There's probably a bunch. Yeah, there is a bunch in this area here just sprinkled throughout over here too. 
We are seeing some up here where the green goes. Some way over on the end where you see kind of over here, the green, green through here, through here. We're going to have a bunch of them down here as well. Where they go? Yeah, all in here. Kind of looks like a mustardy yellow background. There is some of that green again in the whiskers, some down here few in the bottom corner down here, these elements. So yeah, like I said, it's going to be sprinkled everywhere. I really like how Diamond Art Club renders their diamond paintings and their special diamonds. It just gives a good pop of color everywhere. I'm not going to lie, I was scared about the size, but once I've seen this image, I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I have a ragdoll cat, so she she has very distinct coloring, and it's hard for me to find her represented in diamond paintings. But uh, I love that this is just lots of color, and it could totally be her. So I am actually excited to work on this. The colors in it are super vibrant. I've got some really pretty pinks and purples and greens and reds, just very vibrant colors. I think it's going to be beautiful. Now, it's releasing on Saturday, November 18th. As far as I know, at time of filming, it is the usual release times. If anything changes, I will pop up a, a thingy on screen right now regardless. So November 18th, uh, general release is at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you are part of the Diamond or Ruby Rewards tier, you do get a 30 to 45 minute early access. For me, I'm in Pacific time, so general release is at 9.30. I get my VIP email at 8.45. Uh, so once 8.45 hits, and if there is an absolutely must-have diamond painting, I make sure I'm checking my email and I click the link to purchase right away. The nature of things, it's hard to predict popularity, and sometimes things do sell out. So if there is a diamond painting you absolutely must have, you know, there's a lot of meaning behind the image for you, I do recommend getting it at drop time because also um, the way that they do things, sometimes paintings are discontinued without a heads up. So if you had planned to say get it on its second round, but all of a sudden there's not going to be a second round, you're going to be really disappointed. So um, I recommend getting them if, uh, you know, a diamond painting is really calling to you. If something does sell out during the VIP release, remember the Diamond Art Club does hold some back for general release. So if you miss something at the VIP release, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you're on that website ready to check out because they do hold some stock back, though generally um, it's it appears to be less. It seems to sell out even faster in general release, in the past at least, uh, the patterns that I've noticed. But um, you do have that extra second chance. And then, again, if it's sold out, sign up for email notifications. Diamond Art Club is known to... Rush production of diamond paintings that did exceptionally well that they weren't expecting. So uh, if you sign up for those email notifications, they have a way to see that in their system and see how much uh, interest there is uh, and to, to determine the priority of restocking. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous Maine Coon, psychedelic Maine Coon cat by Peggy Collins. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking this one up or if you're picking up any of the other releases that are releasing on Saturday. Uh, I would love to know. Also, let me know what your current whip is for fun. I'm, I'm working my way through Dakota's Christmas Eve at the workshop at Diamond Art Club, of course, and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, so let me know what you're working on. That's it for me today. Uh, if you're new here and you made it to the end, you will probably like it. So I'd love it if you click that subscribe button. Also, you can click that notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. Don't forget to like the video before you head out. Uh, share it with friends, family, anyone you think may enjoy the content. And until the next video, a happy time of painting. Bye, guys. <music>